All right, folks, the deck is Grinder Mage. This is a new take on an old classic Hearthstone deck. Essentially, the goal of the deck is to build a wall full of taunts with multiple layers of Nazoth. In this case, we use Cartoot Defender, Sludge Belcher, and Rotten Apple Bomb. You can get multiple layers of these with the help of Potion of Illusion and Echo of Medivh either cast from hand or with the help of Tortolan Pilgrim. In addition to that, we do have Luna's Pocket Galaxy, so we can reduce the cost of Nazoth to one mana and more easily pop off with some of these spells to get additional copies of them. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and catch me live at twitch.tv slash Watch this! Uh, I think we just pitch the... Eh, I'll keep the turtle. But I want early game removal against... Uh, what I assume is Pirate Warrior. Oh man, this is gonna be like the real test for our deck, right? I'm really glad that I hit the uh, Tortolan on curve because we're gonna need the Pocket Galaxy. Think you're gonna win this one? Uh, I, I feel like if we can get set up properly, we should be heavily favored. I do need to dodge things like um, Death Lords on the Nazoth and um, make sure that I don't draw too many cards off of the Stargazer Luna. What now? Just gonna play this out. Tortolan now makes Pocket Galaxy better since it won't be a dead draw. That's uh, part of the idea, yeah. I mean, we don't need Double Scientist, but there's no reason not to play him. All right, I think the first turtle needs to be uh, Pocket Galaxy. Second one, probably less important. I want to play one of the, maybe both of those on seven just to set up for the easy turtle value. Just don't draw the Nazoth, please. The goal is to get a Luna's Pocket Galaxy on Nazoth, yeah. It would, ideally, just like as many minions as possible, so. The more the merrier. It's odd where you're good with all the combo decks. I mean, there's really only one, two combo decks if you count Reno Priest, like Maligos and uh, Reno Priest. So you can gain enough armor to hopefully outlast uh, Reno Priest if they take too long to set up. Maybe I don't use the depth charge now. I do need to get them out of hand eventually, though, because they are pretty bad if I start hitting the uh, the illusions and such. Mali will cut through your Odd Warrior armor like butter. I mean, yeah, again, if you can get it online, because Maligos is so fast, it should be able to, and a good Reno draw, or Reno Priest draw will be able to do the same. OTK Paladin is slower than Priest. There are a lot of uh, Paladin OTKs, but yes, they're all slower than Priest, except for the new Anything Paladin that's been floating around. It's almost guaranteed, but we did have the ice block in the deck still. There are two types of OTK for Paladin. Uh, Death Knight and Travala. I mean, any fin is kind of an OTK now, and it can, as you saw in my game, it can win as early as turn four. Got a pretty full hand here. I was tip the scales. Well, yeah, but they also have it. They run both tip the scales and any fin. It's just like any fin is the uh, the established name that the deck already has.
Could actually go here and then here in order to get a potion of illusion. All in due time. And get two turtles and I think I'll wait a turn first. When do I dump the depth charge? Uh, probably soon. Maybe before I go in on that play. But like next turn. I will their it's actually going on these now. I want to have hand space for Nazoth or Tolan next turn. So we're just giving away the Apple Bomb, but we're getting it right back with the way this deck is uh, looking to play. It also protects from Cold Light, so sure. Thanks. Alright, I guess we're not going in next turn, but I don't think we need to either. Why does that cost one mana? Oh, the Dragonsmith. This is 5, 10, 17, 19. Uh, I don't think I need to extend too much further here. All in due time. Let me just throw out a Belcher. Alright, we've got um, one, two, three, four more Nazoths. How much better is Cartooth than the other two Taunt series? A lot better, so we're going to get him going next turn. But... He came a little bit slow. Fools. Hmm. Ah, uh, board space. Fools. So we could lose the Jaina here. But I don't think the opponent wants to keep taking this damage to face, right? They also have to play a card here, so... <laughs> awesome. Sure. Why would you want Mad Scientist in a deck with Nazoth? Is it still worth it? I mean... Yeah, I think so. That's why I included it. It's one of the best cards in Hearthstone. We're also getting, like, several waves of Nizah, so it doesn't have to be... They don't have to be perfect value every time. Well, there goes the Jaina. Just need to dump hand here. I don't think we need the Jaina to win. We've got the Solarian to shuffle more cards in. Now Pyros won't have lifesteal? Yeah, but we're going to get layers of Apple Bombs and Cartoots. I don't think it... And the opponent is Odd Warrior, so... Um, I don't think that those are things that matter. Sure. Oh, I love that 
I want to start getting the uh, the Solarians in there before I bounce the um, the Zoths if I can. And I would prefer to get another Potion of Illusion before I play this one. So that I can get another one mana uh, Nizoth. Assuming that goes here. No? Okay. I did want another card too. I don't see a reason to go anywhere but face here. Whoops. I think they wanted one more to land here so they could make that trade. No Solarian drawn yet? Yeah. We're kind of waiting on Solarian and uh, Potion of Illusion. Honestly, probably more the Potion of Illusion at this point. Yep, there's the attack they're looking for. That actually is fine for me because it opens up the board a little bit more. Okay. Probably just need to go in on that at this point. No, because I can't afford to overdraw the, uh, the Solarian, can I? It's gonna add a lot of stuff to my hand, isn't it? And I do want the buffer for additional layers. I don't even think I need the Echo of Medivh, to be honest. I just need the... Yeah. Just gonna play the 10-10. It gets coerced, but... Or it even gets hero power into uh, Plague of Wrath, but honestly, if they use Plague of Wrath on a single minion, it's uh, not bad. If I top deck the Solarian here, I'll just go Solarian uh, Potion, or Solarian Azoth Potion. Solarian, please. That's annoying. At least we get to dump the Doomsayer. <laughs> I think we're still in a heavily favored position here. Okay, then. Lazy Monk, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh, oh. Well, at least the Doomsayer kills that. Honestly, I still think we're fine. Like, Elysiana cards aren't that great. We aren't really looking to win in Fatigue anyway. We're trying to set up a big uh, wave of set of Nizos, right? So, like, 10 extra cards. Just kind of fine. When they're at 26 health. I'm afraid of overdrawing the uh, the prime here if we get brawled. I can use one of the echoes on just like the minions themselves. Like there's no way a Nazoth sticks long enough for us to get the echo of Medivh off on it this second time. <laughs> you were saying, Ruffle? <laughs> Rotting to the power home. I will crush the 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I won't get the. Yeah, that's fine. Works against me. I will crush your delusions of grandeur. We honestly don't have that much damage on the board. Those bombs are kind of a bummer, but we just kind of ignore them for a while, right? I think I do want to hold back some of the belchers. I'd imagine if we did have Jaina in this spot, it would in fact be much easier, but I think we're still just... They don't have that much life gain because they have, they're in Dr. Boom mode. Solarian equals draw you to death. I mean, I mean, that's why I haven't played them yet. They're just there for the uh, fatigue buffer right now. And as like an emergency reset if I need it. This is going to look like an order lull, but there's a reason for it, chat. Basically, I just need to clear a spot in hand. two spots in hand now because I drew that, so we're going to overdraw a Solarian probably, but we get two more back into our deck. Okay then. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Big oof. We also get a 10-10. <laughs> we're almost back even with the opponent in Fatigue. I just kill this off and play the last in Azoth, I think. Too many cards. Even if we do, like, I think I'd rather have a 10-10 than a 7-7, um, seven, seven, just because the 7-7's seven, a bit of a liability, as we've discussed. Sure. Um, there may be one more brawl left. It depends on where it was when they played the Elysiana. I'm gonna play a Solarian next turn if I get the chance, chat. You can't stop me. Mad scientists don't seem to be causing trouble. I mean, the the cartoons just kind of overwrite every other death rattle because they are basically two for one card. Easy lethal. Oh no! Oh good, we found healing. 
and more value. That was, uh, that was not a good Solarian. Maybe we should wait until the opponent has minions, too. Maybe that's a better plan here. Only four mana left, at least. You know what? No, this time it'll work. Okay. See? See? Alright. Against Paladin, we just want to survive. So we need the early... This. We need these two cards and pitch everything else away. Uh, we just want to win with layers of... Layers of taunt minions. If it's Odd Paladin, I might just dump the Depth Charge on turn one. Not Odd Paladin. Hmm. But Zigzodia, I am in trouble. Insult their development for a turn. I want to get to the Mana Saber on four so that I can get to this on six. Reporting for duty. Do I want to delay the, uh, <laughs> let's delay it even further. Because I can't play this on, well, I could have played it on three, but it's worse on three. Just gonna bash this in. Get a flame ward, nice. Don't tell the opponent that though. And I just want to wait a turn to reveal this because I want it to go off on turn six because that allows me to get the turtle down. Best draws another secret. It's a problem for future Raffle. Didn't include Wind Fury Harpy? Well, probably because the card art got nerfed. Ow. Hmm. I'm beginning to have some regrets. Definitely have some regrets. Job's done. Oh, hey, it's Future Raffle. Yeah, he showed up early this time around. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I was so concerned for them. Potion easy online, yeah. That would have been a great situation in the old Turtle Mage. If they have uh, Sunkeeper Terum here, it just dies to the Flame Ward anyway, right? So, uh, picking the Flame Ward also guarantees, not only is it just like a little bit better in the early game, but it also guarantees that the um, the Pocket Galaxy can be 
pick next turn with the Pilgrim. Second air raid. It was a little bit greedy to hold onto the cartoon defender, but I didn't like the way it lined up into that board. It's also pretty greedy, but I've got healing in hand, and I could always bounce a cartoon defender if I really needed to. Maybe a little bit concerning. Mostly in the, oh my god, I'm gonna die, kind of way. Is that good? Still don't know what their win condition is, but hopefully it's not uh, the Exodia. Frostmorn calls. No peace, no rest. I don't really have like proactive clears into that either. Is uh, another issue. I have to just kind of ping that over the course of a couple turns. It's top deck Solarium for four Pyroblasts and a Potion player again for five Pyroblasts. I like the way you think. Doesn't kill me. It does get close though. Is that gonna hit Beardo? The future is ours. Behold the tools of creation. Behold the tools of creation. Behold the tools of creation. The end is coming! Behold the tools of creation. This is to uh, block any additional layers of like the Death Knight stuff. I get to repeat the draw turn next turn though. My concern is that we just die. Frostmorn calls. Yeah, but I think it's for you, buddy. So you should probably answer it. The end draws near. In time, of creation. I need to keep these on board for healing for the uh, Jaina next turn. At least we know it's not Beardo, unless he's already in hand. Or was already in hand before the call to adventure. Is this just like a control paladin? The frozen throne calls. The ice block. I think it's just like control paladin, which 
fortunately is another favorite matchup for us. Eventually, we'll draw this off. I promise, chat, there is an Azoth in our deck. If it's control, the only way we lose is if we misplay something Raffle never does. Exactly. Uh, we could also lose to like a Brand Banker Zola. No, there wouldn't be, not Brand Banker Zola, but a, like a Zola Brand. Uh, Combo. There could also just be like a random Travala in there, but we've got Ice Block. The way that we lose is if they maintain a lock on the board and we aren't able to prevent them from just getting like the Horseman over the course of four ga or four turns. The fact that they're drawing probably suggests it isn't, um, it isn't control though. So, and they just need to. Okay. I want this dead and I want the healing. Slash board space. I want this frozen. No! What? Come on! Anonymous Toast, thank you for the 100 bits. Guys, quick guys, can we get... We gotta make absolutely sure we do nothing to distract Raffle so he does not misplay. Even the slightest disturbance could be detrimental to his play. It's... I mean... Very true. Well, there's the, uh, there's the combo. I think our secret was a little bit more impactful than theirs, despite my complaining. Thank you to legendary patrons Anonymous Toast, IGN Unknown, Fizzle Jizzix, Molly Mock, Justice Crater, Grokey, Dope Guy, Banfix, Tom, and Neofit.